Welcome back to Case Closed Anime Review, episode number 15. Yes, I know for a fact it's been like a week since I did the last review. The only reason why it's been like exactly one week to get this done, because basically last, this past week I kept going out every single night. Going out to my house, going out Monday and Thursday to my old house and finish cleaning out. Tuesday going down to Tampa. Wednesday for choir practice, Friday going out to eat, Saturday and Sunday I thought I was going to get it done, nope, and Monday, Monday was completely different, Monday, but because of the fact I got home late, I wasn't able to finish up all the episodes, and plus of course I was playing and watching, I was away from house, but I ran out of data, so I wasn't able to actually, you know, watch that work. So there's that. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> now I'll talk about this particular season. Now this season is adapted from the chapter from the manga. Chapters 505 to 517, 523 to 543, and 548 to 555. There are 39 episodes this season. Yep, 39. And the episode numbers for this one are to 465. Excuse me. Yeah, they actually sort of cut down a little bit on the multi starter season. Yep. Oh, by the way, the first filler episode, believe it or not, does not come in until episode 433. So relatively, we have seven canon episodes to start off this particular season. Yes, seven. Okay, first is a two-part cause, the secret secret... The Super Secret Road to School. Yep. This one involves like a missing kid. And, and yeah, they find this kid pretty easily. Yeah, not much else to say. Not, 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 nothing really much to this one. It's just Detective Boy. It's just a junior detective league looking for a missing girl. They find her. Yeah, they spent a whole episode, and they also introduced, the only thing interesting about this episode, is two-parter, introduced a teacher who became a recurring character throughout the series. And this teacher's name is, I can find his name here. Yeah, I can't find his name here. Mm -hmm. And then we have a two-parter, though, it's the two who can't run anymore. This one introduces the character, Eska Hudo. And this one, believe it or not, this starts a reoccurring storyline that will start from here in the show and not wrap up until the start of season 17. In the manga, this lasted for a very good period of time, like a good, like, like 130 chapters. Seems like it lasted for a freaking long time, this storyline with this this guy. It does get wrapped up by around 630, and then the guy disappears and he's never seen the manga ever again. Yeah, I've read all this guy's manga parents, so... I'm just basically trying to get through these episodes. This guy only appears in canon episodes. Oh yeah, and there's hints that he might be related to to the to the TV anchor Rena. Spoiler: He actually is. Yep, I actually referred to the manga, but it's not confirmed here. It's not to confirmed from much later. <clears throat> and of course, we run to that idiot detective from. Guhuma, I think it's, it's it's some town in Japan. I don't remember how to pronounce the name. You have Yutama shows up in the episode, and he of course when he when they call him when it's cool, Cosmo refers himself as Richard's partner, even though he really isn't. He's just a fan of his. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, this whole two-parter involves Richard being hired by this one guy to look for his missing girlfriend. They find her dead. And it turns out that, well, he actually did kill her. How? Well, he used, like, he taped the whole car closed and with a special ceiling tape and basically suffocated her in this car that she cared more about than him. And that's the reason why that, that it was all about money. Yep, and this car is one of the reasons why. And instead of, you know, breaking with the side windows, nope, let's break the frickin' windshield in order to get, a, get get to her. Okay, fine. They even find out, though, he was one who actually murdered her all along, and 
that's that simple. And because of the fact that it, it, it Escrow basically helped to help Richard out in this case, he's allowed to come over whatever heck he wants. He comes over occasionally. He doesn't come over that much. I think he probably be a little bit more in the next season. Then we had the first film episode, Conan, a strange child. Yes, this one involves a art a, a writer who is killed, and the reason why he's killed because he stole someone's work, put his name on it, and it wasn't the woman who actually, well, the one he saw, it was actually someone else. Yeah, it's it's one of two two case in season involving a writer. Oh boy, yeah, there's another one. Then we have the Great Dark Cultural Triumph. Yeah, this is an odd one where it's all involved like a dog murder. Yeah, and I think this one is... Yeah, it's it's a filler episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not many filler episodes. Nope, the only filler episodes are there. It's 433, 434, 437, 439 to 441, 448, 450, 452... 456, 459, and 461. 2, 3, 6, 8, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, out of 30 maps, only 14 are filler. So, not much. Yep. And the thing is, this woman had used his dog to kill her mother in law because she was very protective and very mean, so he used his dog to kill her. Okay, second time, and it's also, it also has a, they also have a flashback to the last time a dog was used for a murder, as a murder weapon. Yep. But it's an okay episode, not much run home with this one. Information gathered about the Detective Boys. Yeah, this is the one where I've been looking forward to seeing this one in the anime, where you have the, 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 the Junior Detective Police teacher goes with them with an interview, and she basically witnessed a murder. It's actually the first time in the whole entire series, even the manga, this was actually quite interesting, where she's actually there more than one chapter. She's there for a pretty good period of time. Like, like She's there for this entire case. It's the first time she's involved in the case. And after this, she only appears like one hour at a time this whole season, like two or three hour times, and that's it. Yeah, this teacher of theirs doesn't really appear that much in the series because they don't like a lot of time in the classroom, so why not? Yeah, she appears roughly two more times after this in two standalone episodes. I will get to the first one. And, oh boy, it's not very good. Mm -hmm. This one involves this this particular journalist getting killed. And he gets killed because of, well, he was going to reveal something. And this is kind of what happened to the manga as well. So, very similar case, basically. Yeah. And it turns out it was one of the people's that anyway. Mm-hmm. The promise from four years ago. Interesting little case. Hmm? Yeah, it's just basically solving a murder case. That's really all it is. Fish male pursuit. This one, believe it or not, is not a filler episode, mind you. It's a canon episode. Even the manga, this is one of two, I should point out, this is one of two episodes I just didn't really care for. Because I felt bored watching this damn thing. I felt so bored watching it, because I read this manga, I'm like, now, yes, I do enjoy re watching stuff, I read the manga a lot of time when I watch these anime, but this one was not one of my favorite cases. I did not enjoy this case at all. I was not looking forward to this one in the manga, in the episode. What's the whole point of this one? Okay, a little boy who basically look, sees... This this waitress because he has strike resemblance she has strike resemblance to her his mother who is, well, gone. It turns out she's actually in the hospital for tuberculosis, which I probably think that there is actually a cure for that. It's an old disease that used to run rampant around the uh, around the world, but now cases are very rare, and there's cures for it. Yep, and she was in the hospital for that, and this little boy was actually up in the car, this whole period of time, and. Yeah, and trying to find him is quite was quite bizarre, and it the whole case itself is not very interesting. The resolution is basically the most interesting point of this whole episode, mm -hmm. and they even mentioned the last the whole thing of a forgotten cell phone thing. Yeah, and that was it was okay, it was an interesting one, but the resolution was not interesting. The sun car's utmost limit. 
Yeah, this one involves a stuntman basically driving a remote control car and basically flying off top of a, of a freaking parking garage. And, like, this is actually a 10-story parking garage that's not used and goes over and plows on the ground. Yep. The plan was for him, he, this time he wanted to do, was to have him basically go to the roof, drive to the roof, like, f like fly out of the car safely, and have the car go off the roof and crash. That's what he wanted to do, but he did not like the fact they wanted to use CGI and special effects, so he wanted to basically do it himself, and he ended up getting killed. Turns out it was actually one of the people who actually went against the whole stunt thing, and he got arrested for it. Yeah, and he actually was the one who actually convinced the producers not to fire him anyways. Yeah, it's an interesting little story, and I even like, though, that while well, this is one of because while well, it's a gossip, the way he gets around with Konami behind him, this time, he sits down in a chair. Which is one of those chairs you find on sets for, like, directors and other people. It's quite interesting of a story. Do I think this one should be canon? No. But it, 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 it's very good filler episode. Mm -hmm. Final. Ah. Uh, this one is basically involving a, den a dentist who kills a guy with a gun while she's basically doing a dental appointment in his apartment. Why? That's that's the only reason why. And it's because this other guy was the one who killed her, killed him, but nope, it was actually the one people who actually hired him. Wow. Several times happened in the series where the person who hires Richard Moore to solve a case and they end up being the murderer. Yep. Though a beautiful woman is actually quite different because usually it's a guy, but not a smoking hot woman like this woman is. Mm-hmm. And we have man obstructing the steel frame. Yeah. Yeah, this one like involves like an artist who's struggling and nearly gets killed by a freaking steel beam that's out of the episode. Yeah, and it turns out his friend who he called was the one behind us all along just for his uncle's sympathy. That's the only reason why. It's not it's okay episode. Then we have the shell and the shell gathering in the side. Yeah, this is one of those cases, even the manga was not that interesting. Heck, even the episode itself was not that interesting at all. Yeah, a guy who they just met and then like less than what seemed like an hour later he's killed by poisoning. That's the thing with this case. Yes, this is a case adapted from the manga, but the most interesting thing was New technically meeting the brother of that inspector who they frequently see. Yep. That's the most interesting thing about this particular two-parter. Aside from that, the case is not that interesting at all, involving a, a green tea bile being poisoned, and of course he cut his finger on a shell. Yeah. And it turns out it was one of his friends who actually killed him. Okay. Fine, but just an odd episode. Ooh, Secret of the Russian Blue. Yeah, I, I basically was looking forward to this one. Even the manga, this was so funny. Yeah, this involves the debut of a recurring character in the series, which in the manga they called this character Ricky. Who is this character? A cat. Yes, a cat, which in the show they call Kangaroo, because, well, that's what Richard Moore's called in the subs, so I didn't have a problem with that at all. That is actually his correct name, and that's partially his name. Yeah. Though, they do change a line from the manga for this one, where Conan's like, yeah, she says, he said, Ari dropped off in the anime. In the manga, he says, your wife dropped it off. <laughs> Yeah, and this cat is so this this tiny little cat is so adorable. And this cat does reappear in a few like it only appears in seven chapters. Yeah, it doesn't appear that much, but yeah, this is an adorable cat. I can't wait this cat appears again. It actually helped him solve a code. Yeah, but this is by far the most adorable episode of the entire series, and I can't wait when this cat finally does return. Mm-hmm. And then we have the the sealed western style window. I believe this is a filler. 
Mm. Is it? No, it's actually a canon episode. Yeah, involving a sealed window involving demons and a murder. Yeah, and the whole thing of them basically seeing an eye from a sealed door. Nope, but just this bookcase basically reflect off an eyeball and using a similar type of way to kill somebody. And, yeah. But it's kind of like almost like a haunted house that episode, but involving a window that's sealed up with boards and nails. Yep. And we have the Maguru Sama case. Yeah. This one. Let's see. Um. This one. No, I don't think so. Okay. This one. Involves like a restaurant murder. It's just. It's just not interesting. I, I kind of forgot about this episode. Oh, Police Love Story Fake Wedding. An hour, one of the two hour long episodes a season. Yeah, this one involves like a fake wedding. They have Tagaki dressing up in a suit and basically having a fake marriage with Yumi. Yeah, these two do not hook up at all. Yumi hooks up with another guy who is a brother of another character in the series. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it turns out that the burglar was actually someone who was hired by the fiance. Yep. And, of course, the guy tries to get away, but he gets kicked in the face by Rachel. Yeah. And then, to, and well, because Tagagi and this guy are wearing the same suit, you here you have Saito coming out and basically judo, judo flipping him. And apparently, it's about a bulletin board. It's so funny. <laughs> Though, she even, she even came with the interesting idea of her and Yumi swapping clothes. <laughs> so, at least you get a chance to see... Saito in a wedding dress, and she says, oh yeah, I'm not interested in that, even though she probably will be interested in that when, when Takagi finally proposes to her. Yeah, but it's a fun episode. Mm -hmm. Now we have Trick vs. Magic. Yep. This one involving a death of a stage magician who gets killed in a very similar trick to that of how Harry Houdini died. Yep. Very similar death, where... He's like chained up and he has to get out and he couldn't get out because well, the, the thing was locked. So yeah, and it turns out the person who actually opened up the, the feet was the person who actually killed him anyways. Because of a ring. That's wrapped right around his finger. Mm -hmm. Next comes the second hour long episode season which also is the last appearance of the traveling group. Yeah, I looked up a line. This is the last parents of this group. They never appear in the series ever again. The fact that these are great characters. Like, I love the brother and sister. I love the fact that they brought them back twice. But come on, could you at least bring them back a little bit more than twice? Like, I was thinking to myself, I was like, is this really just a standalone episode? Like, it really going to do that, especially this last few times with multiple hours? Nope. Excuse me, it's just basically an hour-long episode. And once again, like the first one... The, bur the brother is suspected murder. And it turns out, nope, he didn't kill him at all. So that was somebody else. And it was the person. And the whole episode was just a Japanese take on family opera. Yeah, and it turns out the person who was basically in the version of the play was going to get killed. Yeah, it turns out this one was the Phantom all along. He's a projector and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a quite, it, it's a very interesting case. And, well... Even uh, the little girl points out, though, because last two times that she showed up in the series, the Junior Tech League has basically been there. This time, they're actually not there, surprisingly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unknown why these characters don't come back again, this group? Yeah, it's completely unknown why. Yeah, it's one of the most bizarre things. Yeah, I kind of wish they would bring him back, but I like them online. Nope, they don't come back. This is their last appearance. They have not appeared since then. And there's that, when it comes to that particular thing. Mm -hmm. The Overturn Conclusion. Yeah, this one is another one involving a writer. Yeah. And, oh yeah, here's the thing with this one. The viewer already knows right away who the killer is. So I think the death actually happens in the first five minutes of the episode. And it takes a little while, but they prove that, yep, he's the one who killed him. 
And the reason why, because he wanted to check out his own. This guy was also his ghostwriter who actually was writing a lot of his books. Yep. But it's a quite interesting case, and it's very enjoyable. Though one of the most strangest things that happened this episode was having all these, all these, all these books, cars, and toys being flipped upside down. They don't, it's explained it's actually a prank from the victim of the case. Yeah, but it's a quite interesting case. <laughs> Mystery I Loved, another one involving a, 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 a writer. I mean, this is like three cases involving a writer, and each, no, this time actually it's not the writer who's killed, it, uh, not someone who wrote work for the writer, it's ex writer herself getting killed, and the reason why the person killed her, so she can so she can still be recognized because people pretty much forgot about her. Yep. And that's the reason why I killed her. And then we have Zonko's Red Handkerchief. Mo most of this two part was interesting. Yeah, because of Red Handkerchief. Kind of feels like an old World War II drama. And then the ending basically threw me like <laughs> the ending kept me hooked. Yeah. Basically, it's the whole thing with this one is like the whole thing red handkerchief, and they find out they find this body. Like, there's two bodies. One was an assistant director, of course, with another guy, who turned up a unit of the unit of the yakuza, and then basically they have this guy who was the killer of this guy and of, of this particular person and the, the assistant director from the film, and they're surrounded by a whole big gang, and you have Rachel basically beating the crap out of people in karate. And then you have Serena basically calling for her boyfriend. And then here he comes completely out of nowhere, just basically using his karate to basically send people flying all over the place. And then him and Rachel just beat up everybody. Like, this looks like there's about 50 people here. Like, wow, I did not expect this at all. This is probably one of the most best endings of the entire series, for an entire episode of the entire series. And then the idiot detective, who actually last appeared in the opening two-parter, he comes back. Of course, he's in this two-parter. And the girl was arrested. And here's the thing: the bones belong to the 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 person who this this guy lieutenant was actually competing for leadership. They disputed the guy. The guy killed him, and that's that. But yeah, what a way to end an episode with a big brawl. Yeah, first time in the series we have a brawl, and the last time Rachel used a karate was in a fellow episode because a lot of times she doesn't really use a karate this much. The last time she basically used to kick someone in the face. I actually did it twice, but like a full brawl. Wow, it was by far one of the best endings of the entire of an entire episode. The mysterious man with strict regulations. Yes, basically a guy who killed the woman for take out trash wrong night. And apparently, that's not the real reason why. The real reason why because this woman basically drew a couple who took care of him to commit suicide. That's the reason why I killed her. Yeah, beautiful woman. Who's a hostess. Yep. And then we have 460 and 461, which involve the teacher. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The class operation. The most boring... I did not like... This is actually another case I didn't really care for. It had very lackluster conclusion. It just basically kids solving a... a puzzle. Yeah. I think the reason why the writer came up with this in the manga because... Well, it features children, so why not have them solve a puzzle? Yeah, where they use letters and they find their missing teacher, and she's hiding in a book, hiding in, in the inside of a pulpit. Yeah, and of course, yeah, they solve they solve this riddle without without Conan's help. Yeah, and then we have following episode where she bears for a cameo involving a, a little a little boy who stole a stone just to bring back his dead mother. And, yeah, this one I found more interesting than the previous episode. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we have the final four episodes of the season. Which are two loosely connected cases. Yeah, the side effect being called The Shadow of the Black Organization. The Black Organization have really nothing to do with the, these four episodes at all. It's two unrelated cases. The only connection that these cases have is a go is a boy witnessing something. Yep, in the case of the first one, we have a little boy who witnesses a guy who throws a body in the water in, in this river. Takes a while to find the bridge. They do find the guy and find him by his tattoo, not by his face, by his tattoo. 
And of course, it was a new tattoo, anyways. He was a guy with a hat, and he killed him because he was going solo. Yep, and then the following two parter involved a little boy who actually was from the last time Rena actually made a physical appearance in the series. Well, prior to this one, where this was a little boy with a soccer ball who nearly got killed by Rena by complete accident. Yeah, I'm sure she did not want to kill this little boy at all. And she basically, like, threw her off this, threw herself off this motorcycle just to avoid hitting this little boy. And I'm surprised they actually made a reference to that. Of course, they referenced this episode. I should point out that in the opening episode of this particular thing, now, Rena herself does appear, you see her, you see her, her coma state twice so this whole entire four-parter. These four, loose, four loose kind of episodes. We see Judy Starling make her first appearance in a good, uh, first time in a while. And then, she, here's the thing. She appears for, like, one scene, and then she's never seen the whole whole multi-parter. Yeah, and here's the thing. I like to have a line when her next appearance is in the anime. She has to prepare again for 30 episodes. Yes, a freaking long time. And I think this is by far her only appearance in the entirety of season 15. This is cameo. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and also they reveal that Esco basically has his ability to touch a little boy's like pulse and see if a, for this little boy's telling the truth or not. First case, yep, tell the truth. Yep, and in the case of the second one, this little boy's father murdered her, his mother because, well, she was addicted to partying and she wanted to not raise him anymore. Now, this guy did love his son very much and he loved being a father. Apparently, his wife just didn't care to be a mother, just basically for a world party. This smoking hot woman who has a wonderful little boy, and yet she first to party, then hang out with her own son. Yeah. That is not a good... That, well, that, well, it case with this, this guy did a terrible thing, but he was doing, at least, at least, at least that Richard Moore had, well, Cohen and Richard Moore had a decency to have the little boy be taken on the house by Rachel and escrow. Yeah, I, I do appreciate, though, they actually did that because that was a really nice touch because, like, having this guy, having this little boy find out his father killed his mother probably would have traumatized him. So, it's perfectly understandable why he, why she decided to do that. Yep, and yeah, that's really it for this season. Yeah, the the black organization you see him a few times of these four episodes, just driving their car looking for Rena. They don't find her. Yeah, for something called the Shadow of the Black Organization, they do not play a role in this entire four episodes. Their role is simply a minor run. Yeah. They're basically the B plot of a, of an episode that involves a black organization. Yes, a B plot. Yeah, I would probably find more interesting focus on what they're up to than what these cases involving little boys who basically come upon murders. Though in the case of the second one, this one not a lot of murder. This one of him him basically witnessing an accident. Yep, and Conan basically trying his best he can to protect this little boy from the black organization. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Otherwise, uh, it's really it, it's an in, it's an odd season this one. Yeah. Yeah, where you introduce a new character who is actually interesting, you get a little mystery to him. But yeah, for an episode, and then having a flash for episode through the Black Organization, and it's the most disappointing one to feature them to date. Though it's a loose follow up to their last appearance in the series, which is basically I think it's like content with the Black Organization. I think it is. Yeah, it's a follow-up to a story from season 14, from the previous season, the season of the series. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, let's see if I can find it here. Yeah, it's a follow-up to Black Impact moment of the Black Horse Age reaches out. Yeah, it's a follow-up to it, but very little happens with this one. That's the that's the problem with this one. Despite the fact, yes, I like the fact that it went a candidate episode. Perfectly fine, least same with a filler, but a very disappointing set of four episodes. Yeah, it's just disappointing, not terrible. They're just disappointing. That's all just this thing. Okay? But this overall was just an okay seat. This was an interesting season, but man. It was okay, but not as good as what last season was. I'm definitely looking forward to next season, especially since it's not very long. Next season's only twenty five episodes. Yes, twenty five. Yep. 
Okay, so that's it for this particular review. I have like three videos. Hopefully, I'm going to get a chance to do two before I go to down Tampa tonight. that will be a comic corner and a review of Fairy Tale and Black Clover. Okay, put these next few. Bye.